Hi, welcome to today's two minute tasting. We're doing a dry ferment today, the Grand Tokai Ferment 2015. Ferment is a grape that's grown in Hungary. You see it a lot in Tokai, and I really like it. I think it's a, 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 a grape that that doesn't get the recognition it deserves, and when you introduce just a little bit of oak to it, it really becomes a, a pretty spectacular wine, really. So I thought I would let you know what, what I think about this. Off the nose, loads of fresh rhubarb sherbet, lemon, lots of sort of lemon sherbet aromas. There's, there's apples coming out, there's a load of a sort of crisper, uh, zingy um, uh, aromas. Uh, there's, there's lime there as well. But no oak, that's the thing, you're not, you're not actually uh, smelling any oak to this wine at all. However, when you drink it, When you drink it, the oak is there, really uh, subtly. It's not vanilla or butter or anything like that. What it, what you've got is 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 a sort of ginger and a, and a and a cedar and a woody character to it. It's more given oxidization to the wine than it has any flavour, and because of that, you've got you've got. Uh, it's not just all about freshness. It's got some 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 structure to it, some some core to it that is 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 it makes it a substantial wine. I'm just going to give it another quick quick taste. Mm. This is lovely. I really like this. Um, it goes against what I what I like in in terms of wine producers. In fact, that this is actually state owned, but I really think it's a cracking bottle of wine. If you haven't tried a ferment before, do give this a shot. It's it's cracking and have something new this weekend. Um, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon.